Hello, my beautiful Cancer. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for joining me today for your soulmate reading. So, you know the deal, Cancer. If it's not your message, leave it, okay? Don't get offended. Uh, I'm talking to a collective, therefore, you know, there's so many people to reach, so you're not gonna fit with the message all the time. That's just totally fine, okay? If you do relate to what I say, please let me know. Press a like. Every like helps the channel. And yeah, I'm really, really grateful for your support, Cancer. Okay, let's see what is the energy that connects you and your soulmate, Cancer. Okay. So we have show the world the real you. Emotions are running high and what do you need to release? Okay, Cancer. So... Intuitively, I'm feeling like you're asking yourself a bunch of questions, okay? Maybe you are in a current relationship. You don't really know if you want things to continue with that person. You could also be single and trying to release things from the past, okay? So we'll see what the tarot has to say, but definitely a really emotional time for you when it comes to love and when it comes to, you know, personal uh, matter, Show the world the real you. I love this energy. Uh, I feel like there might be some things that are hidden. Not in a way that there's lies in a situation, but you don't want to hurt anyone. But I feel like your soul is calling you to do something a little bit out of your comfort zone. But you don't want to hurt anyone. You might be scared of doing a move and regretting it after. It's like there's a lot of indecision. You're kind of unsure about something right now. So let's see what this is all about. Let's start with tarot. What does Cancer need to know when it comes to love? What does Cancer need to know about love, their soulmate? Ooh, okay. That was too much card. Give me clarity. Give me clarity for cancer. Okay, these freaking cards, guys. I don't know what's happening. Okay, let's take these two. So yeah, exactly what I was saying. There's a lot of things that are hidden. I feel like it's about your emotionality. It's about the things that you're feeling. Maybe you've been thinking of making a move and leaving a situation or... You're definitely trying to release something, but you don't really know where to start. Knight of Wands. A part of you wants things to happen by themselves really fast because, again, I feel like you don't want to hurt anyone. Not that you're scared necessarily, but I think there's something that you kind of want to ignore. It feels too hurtful, too tender to really face it right now it's like you're trying to find the good words you're trying to trying to find like the confidence and the strength to finally express how you feel to a certain person it could also be you liking someone and not being sure how you want to express to them your feelings you're on the right track definitely i feel cancer right now you're working definitely on your self-confidence especially working on your body the nights are a lot about the body. Maybe you've been starting to, you know, be active, um, trying to look better and feel better. It helps your emotionality. It helps your mental. And you're starting to work on that or thinking about doing that. The universe is seeing that you're doing a good job, okay? So you're on the right track, definitely. Give me more. Okay, the Three of Swords. So there's definitely, and this card wanted to come out like three times when I was shuffling. Three of Swords is about difficult conversations that we need to have within a relationship, okay? There's something that you have, a you like a really hard time expressing, my love. It's kind of stuck inside. I'm going to be honest, I feel like you locked something so deep inside and you were like, I prefer not looking at it. I prefer not, not acknowledging it because it hurts so much. And now it's coming back. 
as you are healing yourself, as you are healing your body and your spirituality, something needs closure, okay? It could be a past situation. It could be that someone did you wrong or you felt like you, someone owe you an apology, okay? Let's see. Let's see what it's all about. Tell me more. Okay. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. So again, confirming that you've been working a lot on yourself. You're working on being stable. Financially, emotionally, physically. You just want stability. You're not asking for much. Literally, you're not asking for much. You just want to be happy. Okay? Uh, two of Cups. There might be someone that you're thinking about considering your soulmate. Okay? Two of Cups is a soulmate card. It's a lot like the lover's card, but it's also understanding that we are our own soulmate and that if we don't learn to love ourselves in deep ways, well, it's going to be hard for other people to love us the way we deserve to be loved. Ten of Wands. So you're about to get release, okay? There's a lot of these ones that don't even belong to you, that you're carrying on your shoulders. Things from the past, Things from your family, things maybe from karmic relationship, okay? Uh, you're about to get that release. So if you feel like there's a cycle in love, especially that you never really closed and that it's kind of blocking you to evolve, you're going to be getting a lot of answers. So let's start clarifying. I want to get more clarity on this situation. Let's clarify the moon card. What is hidden? What needs to come to light for cancer? Give me clarity on the moon. So we have the chariot. This is your energy. This is Cancerian energy, okay? So again, something that is really tender, really hidden inside you that only belongs to you, that people are not aware of. It's about to come to light. It's like you're at crossroad. You're like, there's no way I can keep on going with that secret or that weight on my heart, okay? And I feel like the moment you let go of that, things are going to be happening really fast. It might be someone coming in with an offer. I'm going to be honest. I feel like there's someone from your past who keeps giving you just enough energy so the relationship still exists and you're exhausted. Oof, the cards literally flew away as I said that it's hard to get closure because again someone is giving you just enough attention just enough love so it's hard for you to forget it's hard for you to um, it's not even about forgiveness it's really about letting go okay uh let's get clarity on the knight of wands have the tower the universe is going to be stepping in don't fear the tower my love this is the most liberating energy in the tarot okay it brings you freedom the universe is going to be stepping in okay i had a feeling man that someone from the past would be coming back see we have the eight of cups in the reverse Someone from the past will be coming back. And I don't want to stress you out. This is never a warning. This is never to make you feel anxious, okay? And I know some of you are like, I'm so fed up of hearing about the past. I'm just letting you know intuitively what's coming out. Someone from the past will be reaching out. And it will be the breaking point for you. You're so done with their bullshit. You're so done that they just have this hold on you. This unhealthy um attachment you're like if you why are you always coming back just so i don't forget you this is literally what i'm getting you're gonna be healing your broken heart and i feel like it's the broken heart is from the past it's something that you never let yourself really experience and go through a lot of grief that was just pushed away and now it's coming back with this person reaching out. It's not going to be easy, but it's going to be the most liberating thing that could happen to you. Okay? Three of Swords. Three of Swords. Eight of Wands. 
difficult conversation. This is exactly what the Three of Swords is. This is communication, okay? So as you communicate how you feel and cancer, this is the time. This is the time to really say out loud what's on your heart, how much you've been hurting. Even if you're scared of hurting people, we don't give a shit. I'm sorry, but we don't give a shit, okay? It's not time to protect other people by being too nice. It's time to speak your truth, okay? Getting that freedom, getting that liberation. And as you do that, you're closing an important cycle and you are opening up to what might be your true love, your soulmate, okay? It feels like there was something blocking you, but now your wish fulfillment. What is your dream, my love, when it comes to relationship? Do you want long-term, stable, happiness? Your wish is about to be granted, okay? So if you've been working really hard on trying to move on, trying to just move out of this toxic past energy, it's about to happen. It's a brand new chapter in your life and a really important one, to be honest. Nine of Cups is the wish card, okay? And then when we add one cup to the nine... A cup that is offered to us, this soulmate, this person that really loves you that's about to come in. Another person completely. Maybe you already know them. Maybe you're already in that situation. We're getting a ten of cups. Completion, happiness, long-term stability, okay? Just perfect joy. Nothing's perfect, but it's a feeling of like, I have everything I need. That's... That's what you're about to step in. That kind of energy. Two of Cups. We have the Ten of Wands. This is the second time. We have the Ten of Wands two times. The universe is key, keeps on sending message and message nonstop because you need to close the cycle. You need to get rid of these wands of these burden that aren't yours anymore, okay? Close this freaking chapter, my love. You can do it, okay? I do feel like you're not even gonna be the one engaging that. Someone's coming in and like I said, it's gonna be the last thing they ever say to you, you're done. They took your kindness for weakness. <laughs> Trust me, they're about to see, they're about to see what's inside, you know? Uh, Cancers, you guys are really tender, really beautiful and soft and super emotional. You're ruled by water, but I feel like if we mess with you, it could be it could be intense. You guys are fighters at the end of the day. It's like you you are willing to fight for your happiness and for what you want, okay? I think you are there now. Let's go five the ten of wands. Knight of Sword, okay? So again, a lot about your body. I feel like you've been working on healing your body. Your health has been a priority now. And as you're doing that, things feel a lot lighter, a lot easier, okay? Again, this is also someone coming in, communicating with you how they feel. Someone is going to sense energetically that you closed an important cycle and see what we have here. The fool at the bottom of the deck. You are ready for a brand new beginning or about to be. Okay, so it's all about how you receive that, how you open your heart to new love and how you are able to close cycles and leave the past in the past. Again, I'm not saying it's going to be all rainbows and happiness and it's going to be hard. But it's by going through this hard patch that you will find your true love and happiness. This is really heavy but important energy. This is a major, probably the biggest healing journey of your life, to be honest. And you're about to taste what the tower brings, which is liberation, okay? Which is you looking back in 10 years and being like, thank God everything happened this way, okay? You are worthy of love, you're worthy of healing, and you deserve a brand new beginning. Take it. Take that leap of faith, okay? I love you, Cancer. Thank you for being here. 
Let me know if you connect in any way to that reading and I'll talk to you guys in a couple days.